Hey everybody, welcome back. Falcon the Spatial. Let's go back into the colony over here and see what's going on over here. We have, ah, oh, we have the star map stocked up now. We just unlocked the star maps last episode. It was kind of a tedious fucking mission that we also undertake too. It took the entire episode of just kind of like, you know, having a split from fighting and doing space colony stuff because um, we had to regain enough energy to make it happen. But we do have seven star maps over here made, which is good. I mean, at least um, it's going to have these guys stocked in for a while, and then we'll see how that goes. We have a lot of people getting happy now coming in. We are 52%, so I'm enjoying that for sure. And this is system has been unlocked. Yeah, I don't think I want to go up to a level 11 system right now, considering level 10 was uh, kicking our ass alone. So, I mean, thank you for that, but no can do. Not going to do that one just yet. So, level 10 over here has some of the extra supplies that we do need. However, these missions are hard as balls. So what I'm proposing we do right now is... We're going to find out if any of these missions just require us to kill local monsters. If it does, then we could probably make that happen. If it has to deal with pirates, then we can't do it. We could, but it just takes a long time and it's kind of tedious. So I think we need a few levels before that actually happens. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, though, is actually set up a few contracts over here and get some people leveling up. This is a level 2 difficulty level 1. And it requires diplomats, so we do have a few diplomats, I would say, right? Level 2, send you, send you, Hugh Newberry, and we will also send Mei Song. There you guys go. 40% chance of success. Good luck to you. What else do we have here? Strategist, strategist, ooh, level 4. Doctors. Do we have, I think we have a few doctors, though. Level 5 doctor? Yeah, let's send you. Let's send Pharaoh Edinburgh, and we'll also send Hedgevig Sepan. There you go. Start that up. 15% chance means we probably won't do it, but yeah, we tried at least. And then a few more doctors over here, too. Benjamin Miles would be 6%. <laughs> this is a level 5 difficulty. Uh, I don't expect that to happen, but yeah, let's give it a try. Engineer, level 5. Let's send... Actually, let's send level 4. Because level 5, we do have to put the level 5 people into an embassy now, so... I gotta keep that in mind. And then... Level 4 scientist. Okay. So those are basically destined for failure, but, you know, if by any small chance we actually do come, you know, across with a victory, then hey, can't be upset about that. Let's send some scientists over here, too. We have a few level one of these guys. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Let's send my level one strategist, too. Okay. So a few people set up for missions. That's fine. What I want to do really quickly is, um, get back over here. Now, I want to make sure that everybody is set up except for level five people. So... For instance, over here, we have Mina, right? We need level 5 individuals for this one. Mm, I think all of our level 5 people are on missions except for... Engineer. So, Angel Jarman, welcome to the embassy. 8 minutes right here. And then the other dudes that we have ready, I believe, are either on a mission... Yes, or we have quite a few level 4 dudes. So... You're already set up over here. Once uh, a few of these level 4 people do level up, we'll put them in here along with you. Uh, oh, we could send this guy, but he's in a mission right now. So we'll put probably Levy Pelligrad in here. And Bob's your uncle. Alrighty. Then a few... Oh, strategies, let me buy you because you guys are kind of really ready to come through. Diplomat we have quite a few of, and then Doctors we have quite a few of as well. Um, yeah, let's just hire at least for some work around the base. So, there we go. Now then, before we start kind of um, going to... Higher difficulties? Let me... Well, we're going to go to a higher difficulty right now. But what I'm trying to say is that we want to make sure that if we do some of these level 10 ones, we will. Um, what do we need? We have some titanium coming in. And we need nitrogen for the advanced soap. And we also need some fibers for the advanced soap. Or is that for the star map? We also need some algae if we want to start making some of the medicine. Um, so let me go to the nitrogen. I think this one's kind of more, you know, kind of imminent right now that we kind of need. And this is going to be level 10 random item, nitrogen 26 and 106 creds. Alrighty, let's give it the old college try here. Now, if it's a pirate mission, we're out of here. It's a fucking pirate mission, instantly. Complete the objective of this planet to spawn a boss, yeah. A level 10 boss, yeah, that's not going to happen. We need to get out of here. So, oh wait, we found some nitrogen. <laughs> You know what? Let me just loot these crates. Maybe we'll find a bit of extra nitrogen here just by doing this. This guy's just really super angry about me coming in here and stealing his stuff. I don't blame him, though. I would be angry, too. It's like, who do you get? Who do you think you are coming into my fucking area and just stealing my shit, dog? He's dead. We got some titanium off of his corpse, though. 
You know, before we leave, I'm gonna see if we can kill a few of these guys, and more importantly, just kind of loot these crates here. Yeah, there's quite a few crates that we can kind of grab here. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, let's head to the hills here really quickly. Drop a heal, if you don't mind. Drop an energy thing, and... Easy shot, because he's coming down a little hallway right there, so no chance for him to dodge that one. I mean, I'll try this mission for a little bit, I mean... If I could kill, I could kill a few of these pirates, definitely. It's the boss that really worries me the most, but... The chance of getting fibers would be really, really amazing. Is that where we came here for fibers, or was it... No, no, it was nitrogen. Nitrogen. Okay. Let's see. Sniper shot. Drop a grenade on you as well, and Boomski, you're done. We got a nitrogen drop from him, too. Drop a heal if you can. Alright, two more of these guys to go. Okay, again, this isn't going to be it, though. After this, we have to probably kill some more pirates until you can actually spawn the boss afterwards. Okay, he dropped a shot here. This is probably really bad getting involved with two of these guys at once, but okay. Eliminate the pirates. Yeah, yeah, we have to do more of the same. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do this right now properly. Not without it taking like half an hour to actually complete again. So, we just go, we grab the crates, and we're out of here. I gave it a nice shot. If we could spawn the boss after only five enemies, then, you know, maybe I would have given it a try, but... Not worth it otherwise. I see no more crates, at least none that are going to put us in danger. So, yeah, let's just get out of here. Leave. Okay, so we can't do this. It's just too difficult right now. That was, uh, Teeny Day, right? Let's see if we could find something that just has to destroy, um... Monsters in the area. So, let's try Ning Garop. Three fiber resources, that would be pretty ideal. So, let's come over here. Complete the objectives in this planet to spawn a boss. Uh, destroy the command post. Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to work for me. Okay. That one's not going to work either. So, that's off the table. That's off the table. Let's try Tiester. We have Tiester, Lois Day, and Turian Diff. God, these names are difficult to pronounce. What do we have here? Oh, my lord! Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. What the fuck? That was the fastest dude of all time. He was like on a fucking hover vehicle of some kind. Okay. Fuck Tiester. Let's try Lois Day. <laughs> We're kind of running into quite a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? Who we? Ah, eliminate pirates. Yeah. You know what I say to that? Fuck you. Alrighty. Well, that just leaves Turiend off, I think. Destroy the antenna. A spawn of boss. Okay, um... Is this pirate related too? Well, there's some supplies over here that I'm gonna grab, though, so... If you don't mind, I'll grab these before I decide to quit the stage. How about that? Oh my lord! The tentacle monsters are now regulars! Oh no! They have beam attacks, too. Don't you use those beam attacks on me! Alrighty, well... I wanted some different enemies, and now I'm getting it, right? Unfortunately, I wasn't really expecting to get the tentacle monsters to be regulars now, but there you go. How do these guys work? Let's see how hard they hit. I'm curious. They're really slow, and you know what? A significant amount of damage, I would say. Now, the only problem is that they do have range. Which is, you know, when you want to fight um, regular monsters, it's better if they don't have range, right? Because then you can just kind of spam them from afar. But once you start giving the regular enemies range, then you run into a little bit of a problem now. Good shot. Let's see. They're not, they're not too bad, honestly. I'll give it a little bit of a try right now and see what happens. Uh, I want to see the antenna at the very least and see if this really is a monster mission. I think it's more of a pirate mission, but... Let's see, let's go around the tentacle monsters here who just noticed me and they're coming after me. They're flapping their little... <laughs> awkwardly shaped wings at me. Are you trying to intimidate me? I'll tell you this much, it kind of is working. I'm not sure what to make of those wings. I'm not sure how you guys are levitating with those little wings, but okay. You guys are like overgrown hummingbirds and we all know how Falcon feels about hummingbirds. They could go fuck themselves forever too. Alright, here's the antenna, and they're being surrounded by these guys, so... This is gonna spawn a boss, though, that's the issue. Like, if all we had to do was destroy the antenna, then, you know, hey, I could, you know, live with that. Look, ugly dude, this isn't your time anymore, right? You're, you're kind of like, you know, yesterday's news. Enemies now have ranged, haven't you heard? Okay, let's just spam over on this guy. He does a significant amount of damage when he does hit, though. He hit my doctor pretty hard right now. Okay. Energy, please. Thank you. So, let's, um, we... There's just so many enemies in there. Okay, 
Let's see. Oh my lord. Look how long it takes just to bring one antenna down. That's like the entirety of my energy bar right there alone. Yeah, we need a we need to go, dog. We we gave it a try, but you know what? We need to level up before we get over here at this point. This is just too much now. How's the sniper shot work against it? Uh, I mean, I tried a bit more, but look at this. Look at my energy going down. And just on one alone. <laughs> one fucking antenna alone. My diplomats over here are like, dog, I don't have the energy for this. And you know what? You're right. You don't. As a matter of fact, the explosion almost killed my doctor as well. Yeah. Okay, we're out of here. Uh, there's a few resources. You know what? Okay. Suicide mission. Let's grab these resources and get out of here. Yeah. Come after me. Come after me. We'll grab this. All right, we grab them. Run, 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 run. Any more supplies anywhere that we can see? Not really. Okay. We're just out of here. Fuck your planet. All right, so this galaxy, um, it could go fuck itself forever. I don't want to hear about it anymore. We're going to go over here and just check out our missions over here. Success, level three people. Good. Nice to hear that. We have, uh, you guys failed, but I expected as much. I just wanted you to get more experience and you did. Level 5? Nice. So I could put you in an embassy now. And then what about you here? Level 5, you guys failed, but hey, you got some experience out of it. Can't be too mad about that. And then over here we have... You guys succeeded. Level 3, level 2, level 2. Alrighty. Good. Now then, what we need to do is go to the embassy and set up some level 5 people over here. So where do I need to go for that one? We need to go to... Um, <laughs> back where it's safe again, which is over here. Altromon. Embassy. Alrighty, so, we'll play some... Who do we need over here? Doctor Pharaoh Edinburgh. Welcome to the embassy, and then... We have one more spot, which we want to give to... Huh, I have to use another doctor for this one? I guess so. Oh, we actually have two. Oh, yeah. Two doctors over here, that's fine. Alright, so, there we go. Everything's over here set up at level 5, which is good. Let's get out of here, and what I want to do is... Let me go back over here. I think that we're at a decent enough level now where we can kind of do the what the fuck mission, so we'll probably start focusing on that here a little bit. Let's make sure that everything's over here being produced, though. And, oh, at the same time, you know what we should do? We should also try to either recycle some of these extra skills, and number two, equip some of them on. So let's go to our thing over here, which we haven't done in quite a while anyway. Workers, and let's see here. Strategies level 7. At level 8, hygiene's gonna be vital for you. Man, you have to wait till level 8 for that? Jeez, you're a one stinky individual. What is this? Oh, that just tells me where you're at. Okay, so let's go to your combat over here. Cravings juice. We do have juice, right? I mean, I set up, yeah, I set up the production line for that again. So let's go to combat. And let's start decking my people out here a little bit, because I think it's about time we did this. Although it's going to kind of go through our energy even faster, but it may be the damage increase could kind of mitigate that a little bit. So right now you have a level 3 active ray gun, 10 power. This is going to be shit in comparison, right? No, actually no, this is a level 10 weapon. 20 power, so it's going to be twice the amount of power. And for the same cool, actually the cooldown is actually faster on this one. Hmm, so we might actually increase you to that one really quick. But Phaser is going to be 7 power. This is actually lower than what you have right now, right? Although, plus 9 power. So, should we consider it's going to be like 14 power? Because 10, basic, and then plus 4 because of the two levels over here. So this is like 14. This is 20, so yeah, it's still better though. 7. Alright, so we're going to do the laser one. We'll see how this works out for us. So we have a level 10 laser on him now. In terms of special skills, we have none extra for you. So we're going to hold on to that one. Extra health, let's see. 301 right now. 327, 221, 325. Not really that big of an increase, so I'm going to hold off on that for now. Either way, his health's never really, or her health's never really much of the issue. Um, extra energy, I want to use up on increasing max amount of energy. I want to use this up on my scientist and my doctor. So, you're at 276 right now, right? 294, 290, 366. Okay, we know which one we're going to go for. That one. There you go. So that's going to help you out a little bit. And energy regen, yes. Definitely need him with energy regen. Okay. Here's the thing. If we keep our scientists with enough energy regen happening, then he could kind of continuously, you know, heal up our energy with everybody else. So it'll help us out quite a bit. And extra health, we definitely don't want to lose him. But before I deck him out completely, let's look at our doctor as well. Level 7, Reggie DeCaro. Strong meds. Let's see. Intervention. Heals the worst wounded officer for a large amount of health. Um... 
This requires 50 energy as opposed to 33. Do we want to do the single heal or the group heal? The cooldown is actually um, a lot slower or a lot faster on the intervention one too. Ugh. I rarely ever see that we get like a mass attack though. Like enemy like or at least like we take like we don't take area of attack damage. It's mostly just they focus on one dude and just basically wipe him out. So you know what? Ugh. <laughs> I might regret it but yeah let's try it out. Intervention. Okay, extra energy would be also ideal for you. 244, 242 is your basic. I could get you up to 294. Yeah, let's try it out. So, 294 it is. Extra health. Keeping you alive would also be ideal. So, 244, 327. We'll do 325 for now. Health regen could be ideal as well. But before we deck you out anymore, let's also go to strategies. You could use a power bonus as well. Extra power. Yes, let's do that. Okay, extra energy for you. Three, 290. We might do 290, but we also want to level up our diplomat. I want to make the diplomat better. I just can't seem to make it happen, though. Beam gun. Let's see. Yeah, this is actually... Is this better than what you have on right now? This requires five energy. You this one, the one that you have is eight energy. This one is actually more powerful. Seven power, but it has plus nine, and this is eleven plus one, so twelve, and what's the cooldown time? You know what? I'm gonna actually switch over to the phaser. It might be for the best. So yeah, let's um give you the phaser. Okay. Now, extra health. That could be ideal because you normally go down pretty fast. So 327, let's do it. Extra energy could be ideal as well. 177, 290. We'll give you the 291. Okay. And Health Regan, let's see, definitely want to give you that too. 11, 9, okay. Before we make that decision, let's go to the Engineer here, and he has that Missile one now. So we've been using Grenade, so this one is actually significantly stronger, but it requires twice the amount of energy. But I think it can actually work out. This is actually 2, and the range is actually higher than the Grenade. Cooldown is also a little bit longer, but not too much. So you know what, yeah, let's uh, switch over to the Missile. Now, in terms of your weapon here, you have level 5. This requires a bit more energy for plus 2 power. Is that worth it? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? And then extra energy. Let's give you the 231 because you're at 173. Extra health, 193. 221, sure. Okay, and that's about it. So, engineer's ready. Diplomat. I give you a health regen, so I probably will do that. Doctor needs a health regen too. And scientist is good to go. And you are good to go. So, Doctor. Health Regan, 11 per second, 9 per second. So, who do we need to add a higher energy? I would say probably the Doctor, right? So, Doctor, we're going to give you plus 11. And then Diplomat will give you plus 9. So, I hope that doing is actually going to give us a little bit more sturdier in the battlefield itself. So, I'm hoping that's what happens here. And luckily, we used up a lot of the extra spaces that we had, too. So, let's um, reform this out. Yeah, we definitely did pretty good. Now, mind you, the teleport skill, I haven't actually seen anybody want to target or use this teleport. That's a scientist skill because it's blue, right? Let's see here. Scientist. Hmm. Yeah, teleport. But yeah, what do you want to do with a scientist? You want to rather teleport away or recharge your whole party? Yeah, I think uh, the answer is pretty fucking clear what you want to do with the scientist. So yeah, I don't see that being too useful then, honestly. Maybe in a pinch, but I'm not sure right now. Health Regan and... These are the ones that we're not going to use more than likely, so we could just kind of recycle these right now. Place you here, and place you here. Recycle, we got some fibers, that's pretty good. And some level 2 weaponry over here. Laser, sure, we'll keep... Eh, you're actually pretty shitty. Recycle that. Nitrogen, yeah, I'll take it. We're actually out of nitrogen again, so... There you go. Um, nitrogen we're out of, so advanced soap doesn't actually be on hiatus soon. Everything else is being built except for this because we're out of titanium. No, we have titanium. Fibers? No, we have fibers too. What are we what are we missing here? Aluminum? Oh, it's because we have it queued. Yeah, go ahead and make some more, dog. Okay, soap is being done. Everything's cool over here. This we can't use yet. Robots, we're at 171, so we don't need to open this up just yet. Repair parts, we're at 50, so that's cool. Alright, everything else seems alright. How's our food production? Good as well. Alrighty. So, 
Star maps will be restocked kind of soon. We're at 56%. I'm like, hey, look, we have like a little bit of an alien now. That's probably one of the, um, because we opened up that next galaxy with the... The Moops, was it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the Lemurians actually like us more than humans, oddly enough. We're in good standing with them. Humans are neutral. <laughs> oddly enough, of course, the other race would like us more. So that's about it. So I'm, I'm happy what we did over here. So what I'm considering we do is actually go back to... Hmm... Are the ones with the check mark the ones that are completed completely? No. We have done what the fuck over here. So this is level one. Versubid has been unlocked to three. That's all been unlocked to three. And I guess Conliver is the only one we haven't done level three, right? So we'll do what the fuck difficulty over here. And actually, before we commit to this, let's send a few people out on contracts over here. Uh, ordinary contract. This requires scientists. We do have a few of those, right? So we'll send Perry, Biagoli. Send Marmaduke Jekka. <laughs> Marmaduke, apparently, he's a scientist dog now. And Stavro Matrone. Patrone. And then we also have diplomats over here. So we'll send. Darb. Darb. Hugo Newberry. And. Mei Song. Good. Good, good, good. Anybody else? Uh, strategies? We actually have a few strategies, although they're level 2 and 1. So yeah, we'll try it out. If you get some experience, and hey. Good enough for me. And then we'll send a level 4 doctor along with you. And is that it? Strategist, this requires scientists, level 3, and strategist, and this requires doctors. I think we might have a few extra doctors here. So level 3, send you. Send you. And we'll send Julio Orr as well. These will probably all fail, but hey, it's the experience that really counts. And we're done over here, so let's go to... Galaxy, we're going to undertake this mission, so we're going to do this next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot, and we're doing some really amazing things in the colony right now. Things are actually going in motion now, and hopefully getting these extra levels will kind of give us a better chance of surviving the level 11 and onward galaxies. Um, stay tuned next episode, I'll catch you then.